Hello everyone, it's Trucer here, and today Woody's Gamer Tag released his PS3 and Xbox 360 patch notes. And if those consoles apply to you, then go ahead and click the links in the description, I've included them. But today I'm going to be talking about the PC patch updates, because I know some people are on Black Ops 2 are on PC, like me, and they will want to know what's happened. So let's get into them. Alright, so the first thing on the list is the max FOV, or field of view, is increased to 90, which is such a good thing, because since launch it's been 80 and a lot of people have clamoured for it to be 90, they've promised that it was going to be 90 and bam they've already done it a week or two after launch and they've already fulfilled one of their promises so that's a good sign. Now here I'm going to do a side by side comparison of 80 and 90 field of view so you can get a gist of what the difference is. So in here I'm on Yemen and you can kind of see on the right if you look you can kind of see the right of that house but you can't see all the way to BDOM whereas on the 90 field of view you can actually see that bit to the right of the house, you can see a bit more of the house and also the alleyway beside it which can be very useful so if you were sitting here you'd be able to see if somebody was going to start shooting you there. So you can obviously see the tactical distance of getting 90 field of view. There's also a slight placebo effect of 90 and that is the fact it feels like you're running faster. Here's a side, com side comparison of 80 and the 90 field of view and you're going to see them running and uh, they're going to be going at the same speed it was recorded from the theatre yet somehow the 80 field of view might feel like it's running a bit slower and the fast and the 90 field of view will feel like it's running a bit faster. Now that's just a small thing um, it, but it's just something nice for fluidity. Alright, so there's a couple more things on this list which are fixes, so like a horse in single player messing up and RCXDs in multiplayer not doing stuff right, but they're not that huge, I mean it's nice they got fixed and I didn't really know about them. Uh, so some more general performance stuff, so people with four or more cores and things and other, I think Nvidia graphics cards, I think 580s were having a bit of a problem, they will now hopefully be working and also some cases of connection interrupted which I know was plaguing some of my friends should now be fixed and now another little fix which is quite nice is when um, it crashed it used to crash when a seventh player tries to join a sixth player league lobby and now that's fixed as well which is really good because I was watching a stream where the whole thing crashed because somebody that exact thing happened and obviously improved dedicated server matchmaking. It was messing up for some like Russians getting Irish people and just all this sorts of weird stuff. Now there's one crucial bit of information which they left out. Before the patch, after jumping, you couldn't sprint for a good two seconds, okay? And that drastically affected rushes, but now you can. So if you look at this comparison, top left is old, bottom right is new, and you can just see how much faster the rushes are when you can sprint after jumping, you can do better strafes, and it will just lead to being able to avoid nades more and getting into bomb sites, especially for search and destroy that you wouldn't be able to get in before. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and new video will be out tomorrow, it isn't out today because Fraps was taking a poop on me yesterday and I couldn't get it up. Alright guys, I will see you all tomorrow.